We're going to go over how to find the horizontal tangents of a curve. We're not going to find the actual equations for the tangent lines. That's not a difficult thing for us to do, but it's not the focus of this lesson. We're just going to find where the horizontal tangents are. We'll go through a couple examples, and I'll give you one to try on your own. The key to finding horizontal tangents is remembering this simple fact that horizontal tangents occur where the derivative of a curve equals zero. Here's an example in a picture. We've got some curve here, and here is our horizontal tangent in red. It's tangent to the curve, horizontally, at this point where x equals c. And what's making it horizontal is that its slope, and thus the slope of the curve at this point, is zero. So we could write for this curve f prime of c, the derivative of the curve at this x coordinate c, must be equal to zero. Where the derivative is zero, that's where the horizontal tangents are going to be. So here's our first example. We want to find all the horizontal tangents to this curve y equals 5x cubed minus 3x to the fifth. To find the horizontal tangents, we need to first take the derivative and then set that derivative equal to zero and solve. So we'll look for y prime, the derivative of this curve. That's pretty easy. We just need to apply the power rule. So bring this exponent down as a factor. So 5 times 3 becomes 15 and then reduce the exponent by 1. So 15x squared. Then subtract the derivative of this. Bring the 5 down as a factor, so 5 times 3 is 15. Then reduce the exponent by 1, so this is now x to the 4th. And set this derivative equal to 0. Where the derivative is 0, the slope is 0, so the slope of the tangent line is 0, so the tangent is horizontal. So now we just have to solve for x. Let's go ahead and divide both sides of this equation by 15, which is going to leave us with x squared minus x to the fourth equals 0. Then we can factor this. Let's pull out an x squared from both terms. So we have x squared times 1 minus x squared equals 0. Now we can start to find some places where we have horizontal tangents. If x squared times 1 minus x squared equals 0, then by the zero product law, we know that either x squared equals 0 or 1 minus x squared equals 0, or of course, both could be true. Now, what values of x could possibly satisfy these equations? Well, for x squared to equal 0, we would need to have that x equals 0. For 1 minus x squared to equal 0, we would need x squared to be 1, which would mean that x could be negative 1, since negative 1 squared is 1, or it could be positive 1. And these are all the possible values for x that would make the derivative 0. So this is where all the horizontal tangents are. And if we want to go a step further, we could plug in the x coordinates. We could take those and plug them into the function in order to find the actual points, the x, y coordinates, where the horizontal tangents occur. And that's what we get. Plugging in these x coordinates gives us the points 0, 0, negative 1, negative 2, and positive 1, positive 2. That's where the horizontal tangents occur on this curve. And here's a graph of the function just for kicks. You can see how we'd have a horizontal tangent at the origin down here at x equals negative 1, and up here at x equals positive 1. All right, let's go over one more example together. Here is our curve, y equals x to the fourth minus 7x cubed plus 2x squared plus 15. We want to find the horizontal tangents, so we need to start by taking the derivative. Then we'll set that equal to 0. Taking the derivative using the power rule over and over again gives us 4x cubed minus 21x squared plus 4x, and then the derivative of a constant is just 0. So we're done here. And we want to set this equal to 0. Now, how are we going to solve this? Well, right now, this is a degree 3 polynomial, which can be a little more difficult to solve. But thankfully, we don't have any constant term. So it's pretty easy for us to just factor an x out of every term here. Then we'll have x times a quadratic equals 0, which will be pretty nice. 
So if we take out an x, what we will have left in parentheses is 4x squared minus 21x and then plus 4. And this all equals 0. Again, we apply the zero product property. So we know that either x equals 0, which is going to be the location of one of our horizontal tangents, or this quadratic polynomial equals 0. So 4x squared minus 21x plus 4 equals 0. To finish solving this equation, to figure out where the rest of the horizontal tangents are, we should just use the old reliable quadratic formula. So that's going to give us probably two more values for x. The quadratic formula is x equals negative b, b is negative 21, so negative b is positive 21, plus or minus the square root We'll see how long we need to make this. The square root of b squared, again, b is negative 21, so b squared is going to be 441, so 441, and then minus 4ac. a is 4, c is 4, so 4ac is 4 cubed, which is just 64. And then we have to divide all of this by 2 times a, so in this case, that's Eight. Then taking this x equals zero and simplifying this expression as much as we can, we get the locations of three horizontal tangents. They will be at x equals zero, at x equals 21 plus the square root of 377 all divided by eight, and at the same expression but with a minus instead of a plus. I have to move it down so that we have room for it. So the other one is 21 minus the square root of 377 divided by eight. These are the locations of the three horizontal tangents that this curve has. Again, if you wanted to, I'm not going to in this case, if you wanted to, you could plug in these x-coordinates into the function to find the xy-coordinates where these horizontal tangents occur. I'm perfectly happy to leave these answers as they are in exact form. Of course, depending on the problem, you might want to approximate these with decimals. Here's one more example to try on your own. I'll leave the solution in the description. You just want to take the derivative of this curve, set it equal to zero, and solve for x to find the horizontal tangents. Again, the horizontal tangents to a curve occur where the derivative, where the slope, is zero. Hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comments what you got for this problem and if you have any other questions. Head in the